So a couple days ago, ABBA was unleashed into the Guilty Gear Strive world, and I've got to say, this is easily the most excited I've been for a Strive DLC character this season. Really, since Asuka came out. For whatever reason, I'm always drawn to the weirdos when it comes to Guilty Gear. It's the only fighting game I play where I'm cool with getting my ass beat as long as I get to do some weird, wacky stuff. Don't get me wrong, Strive's DLC has been great throughout its entire life cycle, with a revamped Elfelt and our lord and savior Johnny coming back. But Abba just hits different. She's definitely not like other girls. Arxis was definitely in their bag with this new redesign. But if you prefer the original hair color, good news because that's color too. The last major Guilty Gear Abba was part of was Plus R which some would call a bit of a boomer game, but it's still pretty popular to this day. It got rollback just before Strive dropped and was played a ton by people during the pandemic, including myself. I played ABBA a little bit in Plus R. She was the secondary weird character I messed with behind my main, Order Soul. I feel like with every DLC character that drops for Strive, there's this joke I see going around to the tune of, now ABBA mains get to play her for the first time, or bike and mains don't play Guilty Gear. It's really just take any legacy character and a bunch of crusty old heads will make some weird gatekeepy joke about it. And I'm not just trying to trash on people who played legacy games. Talking about your experience in the game fighting as or against her is much different than belittling new players for wanting an old character to come to the new game that they play. Abba is a weird ass character, but it's pretty obvious from her off the wall design why a casual audience would like her. She's a hot mentally ill woman with a dope ass weapon. What's not to like? Well, that's where her game gameplay comes in. She's the type of character that needs certain criteria met before she can really go wild and start schmoovin', which inherently makes her harder than other characters, especially the base roster characters in Guilty Gear Strive. Her game plan is pretty different, and if you aren't in her jealous rage mode, you're going to be fighting for your life just to get anything started. However, I don't think it's so dramatically bad that a new player couldn't play her. Strive tends to be more lenient than past Guilty Gears, and I think you really should just pick whoever you think is cool, regardless of the game. So if you're a newer Guilty Gear player that wants to pick up this deranged weird girl go for it. Just be aware that it's going to be harder at first than other characters. At the time of recording, Abba has been out for a little over a day, and it's pretty clear to me that her development is going to take some time. She's got a lot of sauce, but getting to the sauce takes more work than other characters. If you compare her to the rest of the cast, she's like bringing a fork to a sword fight, except sometimes the fork is a fucking machine gun. Not that she can't be effective, but it's going to take real character specialists to unlock her potential. That was a key joke. I personally hope that her popularity keeps people playing. It would be awesome to see a good amount of ABBA representation in tournaments. If nothing else, just to see someone new on the screen. I couldn't find anywhere else in the video to talk about it, but her theme is tight. It's this deranged prog metal track that's definitely worth giving a listen to in its entirety. Most people probably won't hear the end of the theme in game because matches don't last five minutes, but it gets pretty beautiful at the end. It goes from to Man, that's such a raw ass line. Seriously, listen to it. Despite the fact that she's been out for just over 24 hours, I've already seen some absolutely bananas stuff people have done with her. Her air attacks and jealous rage are just so nuts. There are combos that bounce players from the right wall, take them all the way across the stage and break the left wall. And these combos aren't just for show. This does some legitimate damage and ends in her stance change ender. I've personally put just about five hours in on her and I think she's a fun and unique character. Her normal mode is really slow and lacks a lot of her fun tools. To get anything done in normal mode, you have to commit super hard to something like her command dash or her like parry attack thing. She's basically the weakest character in the game in her normal stance. However, in her jealous rage mode, she is completely bonkers and puts out just ridiculous damage. Simple combos off of stray hits in her jealous rage mode can easily lead to some crazy soul bad guy damage. Her command dash can seemingly go through everything. Her DP motion heavy slash attack in jealous rage mode is one of the most cracked out single moves in the game. Having enough armor to go through literally everything in the game, a giant hitbox that leaves you plus on 
one block and it hits twice. I tried jumping over the second hit of this move a couple times and got completely blown up for it. Don't use it on wake up though. It's not invincible on wake up. I learned the hard way. It'll take a little bit of time, but someone is going to make Abba work. For me, it remains to be seen if I stick with the character. I imagine I'll just mess around with her on the side, much like I did in Plus R. She isn't as difficult to wield as I had anticipated, but there's a lot of situational knowledge you'll need to take her to a high level. I've seen clips of her being absolutely destroyed by putting themselves in a situation where she's got no gauge and she's pinned in the corner against characters like Johnny and Kai. Anyways, that'll about do it for my first impressions of ABBA. If you've been playing her, I'd like to hear what you think in the comments below. And hey, if you're a new fighting game player and are interested in learning them, you should check out this video here. Thanks for watching.